So everybody wants to scrutinize Ramla for her and her life decisions on based on her religion, and I did not like the way it played out at all. But you're, yeah. the way you've what said I'll divorce like, him, yeah. it's like it's like you'll yeah. drop yeah. him. Yeah. Like, yeah. But if you sorry, no, but if you feel if you feel wait wait, wait if you feel a family with this person, you've got children, you've got a household, even the love, marry my marriage is based you, on uh, religion. <coughs> no wait, is that an easy decision for you? No, it's not. That's but I would. Going, that's going living in London, and there's a lot of things that they do in Somalia that you do not do here. That is a part of your Somali culture. You don't do it, hun. Be real. You're not. Yeah, but because I'm not there. I'm not when I know I'm gonna. My God. Don't say it like. I don't like the way you're saying it. You've had sex before anyway. You've had sex. You've had sex. You've had sex. No. Hey guys, it's Mark Murad. I hope you guys are all doing well today. So we have a particular episode that was based on religion and race. And these are important factors for marriage. And we're going to get into it slowly, bit by piece. I'm going to just go through everything because there are a lot of people that really did irritate me in this episode. And the setup of this episode as well irritated me. But nevertheless, it was a great platform to talk about stuff. So shout out to Backshot for doing so because this topic had great substance. But the real question that we need to be talking about and discussing is, did the people on the show go into the great substance that was needed and desired for this particular show. The, the undercurrent theme of this episode was literally to scrutinize Ramla for every single little point and decision that she made based on her religion that she has the right to that they are aware of. And I didn't like that. They were constantly analyzing her. And what Bapcha should have done was to put plenty of different diverse people on this platform for this particular for this particular topic because it will appear and look like as if everybody's coming for her and that wasn't nice to see at all um, especially when everybody was wrong we have people talking about how arranged marriages was based on religion as Ryan mentioned that no, no it is because and the man. No, it is. No, no. She, no, no, she accepted the arranged marriage because exactly. of her religion they were talking about a scenario that, that Basket raised we were talking about um, arranged marriages are you know it happens that's why it's based on religion and I, was, I had to pause and I was like as well that's not the reason I think she might have slipped up and I'm hoping that she did because I know she's not like that she's quite intellectual but arranged marriages is not based on any religion. It's based on a culture that is interlinked with a religion. There's a very difference here. And then we have Chima talking to Ramana saying um, they were shocked that she decided that she will end their marriage based on religion. And um, Chima was saying, don't you believe in love? In a very patronizing, undermining tone. And yes, people can believe in love. But if you are not in the same religion, in time it will divide. Because my religion, Islam, says that you should choose someone for their religion because the beauty that you've first, you first see and all that will instantly fade. It will fade because everybody gets older, the beauty doesn't last for ages, we already know how it is. So I don't sound, and then Basket was saying, but well, you've had sex, you've had sex, as if trying to undermine her. My God. Don't say it like that. No, I don't like the way you're saying it. You've had sex before anyway. You've had sex. You've had sex. You've had sex. No. Apparently he was talking about a certain situation. However, that didn't come across to me. It came across as if he was trying to undermine her. And I feel like Basket isn't... Um, he doesn't know how to comprehend the importance of religion. A lot of people don't in that room. You want to be upset about body counts and be throwing tantrums and going mad and huffing and puffing. But when it comes to someone choosing over love um, and choosing the love for their God and their religion you want to be all confused and talking nonsense and, and turn him a blind eye that's what I don't understand there's a lot of confusion what they really have done in this episode is that they have idealised Islam into a culture and that's not really what it is especially this arranged marriage point was something that I wanted to press on what cultures do is they they, they make an idealistic psychological setting for the environment of that person. This idea that Islam is related to arranged marriages and so forth is, a, is from a culture, not from a religion. I want to get that point straight forth and very forward um, because I didn't like the way that was being pressed upon. I feel like everybody was just targeting Ramla and that was not how it was meant to go down at all. Now we're going to get into Revo. Now, as I said, um, Reva is one of my main characters on the show, and you guys don't know if he's helping, I always compliment her. But sometimes, like today, she has to irritate me. Um, first and foremost, I don't know why, I don't think anybody on that show is on her friend, because you can't come out with a headpiece on your head. I don't know what, I'm not trying to be rude like that, didn't look great at all. If I was there, Reva, and we were, and I was a colleague for you with you on that show, I would have pulled you aside and said, Reva, this does not look good. Style it up properly, or wear something else on your head, or don't even wear anything, because you look fine without it as well. I would have said that to her with my chest. Um, second and foremost, she was making good points at the beginning, but then she said something to Ramla about how people in Somalia do something that you won't do here. So let's, let's keep it real. Living in London, and there's a lot of things that they do in Somalia that you do not do here, that is a part of your Somali culture. You don't do it, hun. Be real. You're not Yeah, that, but that's because I'm not there. I'm not um, of course that will happen, because that's a completely different environment. So that's already an answer within itself, Riva. Number one. Number two, there will still be a culture created related to that culture within that country, but it will just be lived and restricted by the means of the environment you are currently in, in the UK. For example, there are plenty of people that I see, there is a huge Somalian culture from, in South London that I see, and they will live within their means of their culture that they can within this environment in the UK. You can't say people will, will do something in that culture that you won't do here. 
Therefore, you have to keep it real. That will only happen um, because they're in a different environment where laws are different and everything is, and everything is different anyway. So you're really answering your own question. Well, to that point, I didn't understand and I was like, okay, so is you going to be the fourth person on this band going to come against Ramla? Because that's how it came across to me. Um, I wouldn't say there was bullying tendencies. I wouldn't say there were bullying Ramla. Um, but I, it, it's very easy for someone to perceive that because of how the show was set up and the, and the position of people. The fact that you only have one person who's a Muslim in that, in that group and everybody's comparing Christianity Everybody's comparing Christianity with Islam as if these two are the only religions in the entire world. You've got people who are Indian, people who are Judea, Jew, people who are Jews, which you lightly touched on, not as much. You are people who are Buddhist, you've got Sikhs, there are plenty of religions. As you guys have stressed, London is very multicultural, multi-religious, so why aren't you speaking up on other religions? Because people may want to hear about themselves. That's another point um, that I would like to make. We have Well, who was making good points about himself, about his mother and Christianity. He's, I feel like this guy is slowly getting, getting the confidence. He's slowly gaining the confidence to actually begin to talk properly, um, which I feel like is a good point. Lucifer was not there on the show, thank the Lord, because this guy would have been talking nonsense and he would have been reaching for them stars for all we know. Um, <clears throat> and I, I said last week that Omar has lost credibility and he's not making any more sense. And in this episode, I feel like he has changed that. Um, he has changed that completely and he was making sense about the points that he was making. Then maybe either you still run it or you don't. I'm guessing before it's of importance to your mum or your your family or whatever, at first it has to be of importance to yourself. From experience of somebody whose dad's Muslim and mum's a Christian from, from what he was saying, I feel like he applied that knowledge and he added to the um, debate in a consensus good manner. So Omar, keep this up please because last episode I wasn't checking for you but this episode I was. I feel like religion is a very big complex banner that Basket is not able to comprehend. He doesn't know, he's not, he's not able to understand. Um, and when everybody was, everybody was just jumping on Ramla when she said, um, my love for God is bigger than for my, my, my spouse. And of course that's true. I was born a Muslim. You were born a Muslim. But the second you say, I don't want to be Muslim anymore, I don't care if it's 20, 30, 40 years, get out of the house. So why are you, I don't understand why people are so confused as to why people will get divorced if the religion is not the same or the person reverts back to something else or converts something else or leaves the marriage, leaves the religion. Best belief, if I marry someone, and they don't want to be part of the same religion as me, what is the point of being together? Because there will be rifts and divides in the future that will cause a separation anyways. Because my love for God is bigger than you. So I don't understand why everybody was jumping onto Ramla anyway. So shout out to Ramla because you become, I feel like this, even this episode in itself was a great catalyst for you to become one of the, one of the biggest characters in the show. And you really did shine. You came out and you, you, you spoke your speech, you said what you needed to say, you stuck to your ground firm, regardless of your entire environment. That was saying something completely else. Chairman was saying in her interview, Muslims are going to get together just for their religion. What about the love? To me, I'm trying to understand, like, did you ever love the guy? Like, did you ever want to be with this person? Or is it just, oh, we're both Muslims, let's get into a relationship and build an empire? It doesn't make any sense. Did you want to have kids for him because you love him? Or did you just want to be with him because he goes to the same mosque as you? And See, this is what I'm saying when, it's when somebody has a limited perspective and they're not actually applying the knowledge to somebody who actually is Muslim. And that's what Chiyama did in this episode. Once again, I'm telling you, she's become a team furniture. I don't understand what her points are saying making on the show. She's not really making any more impact. She's just, she's just telling people to shut up. That's all she's doing. And um, she's just like, as if Muslims all get, all get together um, just because of their religion and there's no love. What, what is that about? Of course you have to love someone before you get married to them. And anybody who has arranged marriages, number one, they've consciously agreed to it. Maybe they haven't because a lot of people don't agree to it as well. And number two, arranged marriages are nowhere near related to a religion. This is what I'm trying to say. Culture can be very great, but sometimes it can be very, very poisonous. And that's the point that I would also like to make. Culture can be poisonous because it relates and leaks in rules into a religion when those rules shouldn't be in the religion anyways. And in regards to race, and obviously that's obviously someone's preference, but some cultures will enforce it on people and that is going against the religion. So at one point people need to question, is culture good for religion or is it bad? Me personally, I feel like it's in between. It can be good for the religion, uh, however, sometimes it can drag it down and plaster it into something that's completely different. Like I know people who aren't married in their mid 40s and 50s and people in particular religions will look down upon that person. However, nowhere in that religion does it say that marriage needs to happen. So why are you looking up on that person? It's because of the culture and because everybody else is doing it. So you need to really think about the influence of what people have and the thoughts and, the, and how this can take someone down psychologically and they shouldn't be need to. I feel like everybody just judges everybody so quickly. And I, I, just, I feel like that's exactly what happened on this episode. Everybody just judged Ramana saying, well, you don't believe in love. And like, she never said that. She never said, she, she, she never said that she, just, she does not believe in love. She just would choose her love for God more than her spouse. And that makes complete sense. Oh, he wants to change religion. He wants to change his religion. What do you do then? Then you divorce me. 
Wow. wow. But he doesn't so want to divorce you. What are you going to do? He don't want to divorce you. What so you do you believe in love? Like, because I'm, I'm sure that it feeds all of that. Even if love punches you in the face. And when I mean punch, I think Basquiat was saying punches you, like goes in your face. Of course, it will be very difficult, which Ramana also said. It can be very, very difficult, but you need to sit down and realise and thinking, what is the real pragmatic thing? You were born into this religion, you've been practicing and so forth, and you're going to leave it for some, somebody else. It doesn't make sense. So hats off to you, Ramla, and, and Riva, like overall, Omar was making sense again, which I was happy. Ramla stood for herself. Basket was not comprehending anything in regards to religion being as great. He would rather be huff and puff about body counts and nonsense. Chioma was being tame furniture, and in my opinion, she was actually quite offensive to my religion. Uh, I, didn't like, I didn't like the way she was in that interview saying, oh, but Muslims get together, they're, they're going to get together for the religion, not for their love. Were you guys ever in love? Like, how do you know they were ever not in love or in love? Please, Chioma, I'm trying to find out. Um, as Raya was making sense, but I feel like when this girl talks, she fits like 20,000 words in one sentence and I lose interest. Like, she's always like, uh, like, it's just constant. But she was making sense of what she was saying, and uh, I could understand that to an extent. Riva, you were making sense, partially, not completely in this episode, and I'm going to say that with my chest, because some points that you made were quite irritating when it came to this whole culture, you will do it there, but you won't do it here, be real. Like, that doesn't make any sense of what you were saying. Chance to marry someone, regardless of no religion or whatever, would you do it? No. I think you're lying. I, 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 honestly, I, I'm... You've so got Ayo as well who's making some good points and he personally said that religion isn't a factor for him and that's fine. Whatever's good for you works for you. But overall, um, they came for Ramla, they came for religion and they plastered in a completely different way. And the reason why they, they came for religion and the reason why they, like, they seemed against Islam and the rules was simply because of the way the show was structured. That's why. You do not have one person who's Muslim and the majority of them who are not and you were debating about this particular topic of religion when it comes to marriage because it will always come out flop-sided, it will always come out as if people are against other people and that really is the producer's fault. You should have evened out the show, bring more people, more diversity and you know, it's a bit tiring to the same people all the time. So I just, I thought that would be just be interesting for you guys to add. You guys should have done that, in my opinion, for this episode, but you didn't, so what a shame. But nevertheless, hope you guys enjoyed my smaller review. Let me know what you guys think about this because I may not reply to all comments, but I definitely read them all. Are you, do you like the way everybody was coming across Ramla? Do you feel like Chema was being a bit offensive? Do you feel like Basket was having a limited perspective as well? Let me know what you guys think about Riva as well. You know, um, like I said, Riva is obviously my main character, but when somebody messes up, I will just say it on my chest, regardless of you, my best friend or not, or coming across as my favourite character or not, it is what it is. Um, shout out to Omar as well, you're making some good points, finally. But let you hit me up on my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter and my website, please. Let me know what you guys think about this and hit the subscribe button if you guys like my reviews. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys soon.